Um, okay, well, it's it's Thursday the 28th of November 2013. Um, I'm Dr. Richard Wallace, um, and I'm here with um, Salvador, Salvador Ortiz Carboneres, um, for the Voice of the University project. Um, Salvador, first of all, can I just say thank you for coming to see me, or coming to, like, agreeing to talk to me for this. You are very welcome. Um, the, I think the first question I, I'd like to ask you... Um, it's just if you could kind of summarize just quite briefly your uh, relationship with Warwick over the, over the years. Well, I was at the University of York. I was Spanish assistant there, but I was also studying teaching languages, modern languages. I did a course of Italian with uh, Dr. Trudy Berger, who was my tutor, and I also went to the classes of Professor Eddie Hawkins. And I learned a lot from them, you know, it was really a wonderful, they were wonderful teachers. And then when the post was advertised to start the Spanish department at Warwick, uh, they both told me, Salvador, they want you, you must apply. And I say, no, no, I don't want to apply because I don't think I, I'm good enough for it. But they just uh, helped me and I applied and, and then I got the post and that was 1974 and I started the Spanish department at university with uh, Dr. Ray Calcraft, an excellent lecturer in literature, and I was in charge of the language because I am a language specialist. Um, we'll we'll come and and you then you were here till two thousand and eight in various in various exactly, guises. Exactly. Um, we'll come back to your time at Warwick in, very shortly, um, but I think I, I'd quite like to hear more about the, the kind of your background, really, and the, the the time before you arrived at Warwick. So, first of all, could you could you tell me a little bit about what, where and when you were born? Well, I was born in a small town, a rural town in Valencia, Spain, and uh, I first started wanted to be a doctor, and then decided I could be a diplomat, and then I went to study to Valencia University, and then when I finished my degree. Um, they told me that English was a very important language. I had done French in my degree. So um, I said, OK, I'm going to England. So I got a post as an assistant in a school, and that's the way I came to England. And then being in England, being in uh, next to London, it was Enfield. He was teaching in a school there. The teachers there, the headmistress, said to me once, I was a born teacher, which I couldn't understand what it meant. And she said to me, and she was a very bright lady, you are not a diplomat, you are a teacher. And, and they helped me to get the place at your university. So that's more or less. What, what, was it, what was the area where you grew up like? It was a rural area. I mean, my father was a farmer, and, um, and with this, all the people in town, they were farmers. And I, and I love, and I still love being part of that town. I liked... I, I feel much better. It's funny I say that with my friends, the farmers, of the sons of the farmers, that with academics, you know, I think I have more in common with my childhood, you know, the fields and the freedom and, and straight people, not sophisticated. But of course, I love teaching. Well, what did your mother do? My mother uh, was learning to, she wanted to be a pianist, but, but the civil war came and, and then that was really, you know, she couldn't finish her degree. And then she just married my, my father after the war. And my father, you haven't asked, he was actually studying to be a, 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 a chemist. You know, he wanted to have a pharmacy like my um, great uncle. And so, and just, uh, again, the civil war came and he stopped the studies. And my grandparents were farmers. My grandfather said to him, if you want to marry my daughter, you must become a farmer. And my father became a farmer. How did, how did he feel about that? Did, 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 did you ever sense that there was a kind of regret at, at not being a chemist? Or That's a very good question. When my father was quite old, and then I got very close to him because I had to look after him, once I asked him, I asked him Daddy, did you regret having left Barcelona and your studies and become a farmer in a small community like Alberic? And he said, no, 
my son. I never regret it. I was free all my life. What was it? What was it like growing up in in? That? I mean, what was Spain like at that time when you were when you were growing up? Well, I was a happy child. I have a happy family and uh, and enjoyed the university immensely. Since then, I took part in, in the Guard the Orfeon in Valencia. I took part in plays. I liked acting, you know. But of course, at the time of Franco, and if you didn't do anything against him, you were all right. But of course, people who didn't agree with him, they were not free. So you could feel always there was like a shadow hanging over you. Um, they were like the police, you know, we used to call the, them the gray because they were dressed in gray. And uh, there was not complete freedom. So when I came to England, I felt very free because I could talk about everything without any fear, you know. But on the whole, it, it didn't really change my life in Spain. You know, I, I studied, I, I went to university, and um, and I did what I wanted. Would you say that your your parents were were political at all? <sighs> well, my father was fighting against Franco because Barcelona. My mother was um, in the size that the that the Republicans could have got control. And because they were rich farmers, uh, my grandfather was put in prison. My grandmother was taken to be shot, you know. And uh, and my mother had to run from the town because they wanted also to take her to prison. So they were both fighting in the different sides in the Civil War. And that happened very much in Spain. Uh, but it's very interesting that after they got married and passing the years, my father used to say to my mother, you are a communist, because he always uh, preached and protected the poor. Whereas my father, who was fighting with the communists, he became a bit more kind of, he liked the peace of Spain, stability, uh, security, people not being robbed, not being raped in the streets. So, so in a way, their views, uh, you know, were quite similar, and they they argue, but uh, I think they only wanted to argue because uh, they loved each other, and there was another way to show their love. Were you a close family? Very, very close family. Not only my grandparents, but also my my parents and uh, my uncles, my my aunts. You know, we were very, very close family, and that was very, very important because if anything like a death or something like that happens in the family, we never felt alone because we were so many people together. And this togetherness gave us strength. And I think what is very sad now is the families are not so strong. And I think that's what is missing now from the time I was brought up, you know. that. And I think also that togetherness gave me stability, you know, to be able to go through these final years of my life, just feeling well, you know. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a sister, but once the parents died, you, you know, the, each one takes their own way. We were together until my mother died, but then uh, she went to live in Valencia, and then, you know, the things were divided, and so it just... And, of course, she's already of the new era of that the family links are not as important as they used to be. Did you enjoy school? Yes, I, I have always enjoyed school. I have also enjoyed the university because I like learning. And as long as I went to the school and I learned something, I was happy. I would get bored if I didn't learn anything. And then, you know, but normally I pay attention, and I always learn something, you know. That's where, when I was teaching, I always said the worst enemy is boardroom. The students must learn something every day, something useful, not something useless, you know. And, 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 and I'm still learning now.